The following segment is sponsored by the Salt Lake City Mission. Prepare to be moved by the incredible spirit of giving in the heart of Salt Lake City. Pastor Sean is here to tell us all about the Harvest for the Hungry campaign. Pastor Sean, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. We absolutely love it when you come in because you are doing <laughs> so much for our community. Talk to us about Harvest for the Hungry. How is that going? Well, Harvest for the Hungry is what the Salt Lake City Mission does from October, November to okay. December. And what it is, is we just reach out to this great city that we live in and we just ask the public to partner with us mm -hmm. so we can help those that are struggling during Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. during Christmas, struggling just to put Thanksgiving dinner on the table and Absolutely. Christmas dinner on the table because our bills don't go away. Rent doesn't yeah. go away, gas. We still need <laughs> gas in our cars. It doesn't leave on the holidays. Right, <laughs> even though we wish it would, but it does not. So this is when we reach out to the public and just ask them to partner with us so we can help the less fortunate, the okay. people that are struggling to put food on the mm -hmm. table right now. And I have found that we live in a very caring city, so I'm oh, sure yes. people w watching this are thinking, what can I do to help? How can I help? What would you say to them? Well, what they can do is they can give us a call at Salt Lake City Mission, 801-355-6310. Mm -hmm. We are in need of hams, turkeys, pies, mm -hmm. canned vegetables, and also uh, coats and hats and Absolutely. hand warmers and gloves for the unsheltered population. And we're going to be open Saturdays now. Oh, so, okay. Right. These next three Saturdays in okay. November, we're going to be open. So if the times don't work to drop off some of these donations during a week, because we're open from 8 a.m. to 3. Right. But if those times don't work, you can come by Saturday from 11 to 5 and you can drop off and we're having a great raffle so mention that uh, the food you're bringing is for Harvest for the Hungry and there get in go. our raffle we have some really great prizes. There you go so you get a prize for helping people how amazing is that what else does the Salt Lake City Mission have going on right now in addition to uh, your harvest for the hungry. Sure, we still have our men's recovery program, which okay. is very successful. We're very proud of that. We have a, a gentleman by the name of Pastor Tom Wright. He's from Texas, and mm -hmm. he's the program director, and it's a life-changing program. It's a great program, and we also have um, our outreaches that we do at Rio Grande, Monday through Saturday. Absolutely. We're still inviting people to come back to our day offices and have a safe place to be. We put on music. We still mm -hmm. also have classes there yeah. that anybody's welcome to come and uh, join. We also still have our Sunday church services that starts mm -hmm. at 11, and it's a great time, and we just invite anybody who wants to I come. I love this. I don't say this lightly. You really are changing lives. We're so grateful for you. How can the community assist and join in helping the homeless right now? What they can do is come together as this great city is mm -hmm. and just uh, like bring to the mission you can come drop off again uh, or you can call and see what our needs are. You can get on our website, saltlakecitymission.org, and the way that they can help out is by donating food, mm -hmm. by donating clothing, by donating gloves, by donating coats, by donating scarves, all these things that mm -hmm. the unsheltered need that are struggling out there when <laughs> this cold weather is about to come. And it's starting right now. Yeah. So yes, we it need is. your donations right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He was looking at you, yes. telling you, come on. he needs your donations. <laughs> really fast, we only have a couple seconds sure. left. How did you become part of the mission. Uh, I was dealing with my own uh, life controlling issues and also struggling with homelessness for many years and I stumbled upon the mission and uh, really blessed by them so I am here pushing what they do. Well Pastor Sean we just love you and everything you're doing for the community. If you need more information you can visit the link at the bottom of the screen. Pastor Sean thank you so much again. Thanks again for having me.